Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to do a quick homeowner review of Cali Bamboo's line of vinyl flooring. This is the Cali Vinyl Pro floor. This is in aged hickory. And um, I actually was looking at their, their bamboo products and because my wife and I are looking to do the majority of our home and about 1200 square feet in some sort of product. And one of the challenges with using wood or bamboo is that water is a significant issue. So uh, the guy at Lowe's actually told me this about this product. This is the Cali Vinyl Pro and it's actually made of limestone. It's fully waterproof. You don't have to worry about uh, water or anything with this. So in a bathroom like this, this is kind of good to, uh, a good option. I'm not a big fan of tile. Tile is very hard. Um, I've never installed tile, didn't want to. The grout gets very dirty. So that's kind of an issue. Now, if you um, shout out to my man, Brenton Ford at Cali Bamboo, I called them, asked a ton of questions, and then he sent me lots and lots of samples. And this is the Cali Vinyl Pro line. They also have a plus line. Uh, the way that Brenton explained it to me, the Pro line is newer and it's a better product and it's made of limestone. So it makes it a very uh, firm product. It's not something that you can break. And including these edges, it's kind of amazing. You can't snap those off. That's where the product actually snaps together. This is a floating floor. And the other thing that I liked about this product is it's a very green product. You don't have to worry about VOCs or anything like that. In fact, this has almost no smell to it. You lay out a new box, it has very little smell. Um, so hopefully this should be safe around your children and pets. And we've got little kids in the house, so that's why we were interested in this product. Now you do have to put an underlay on your wood subfloor. I use the Cali Complete product. Um, it looks like foil, it's pretty thin. You lay that out first and then you install your floor floating over top. Now, traditionally, I'm opposed to floating floors. I'm used to a lot of the older laminate floating floors where they felt very floaty, they looked cheap, kind of had a hollow feel to them. This is not like that at all. Because this is limestone, it's very heavy, it sits flat against the floor. You cannot tell that this is a floating product. Now, how did the install go for me? I have never installed something like this before. I've done vinyl sticky tiles. Those are pretty easy. They're easy to uh, trim and things like that. But how did this go? Well, it was a lot harder than I thought. This is 23 square feet and it took me a long time. I can't even add it up. The challenge that I found uh, was when I first started out over here on my tub, my tub is actually not flat. It's kind of uh, rounded a little bit. So when I put my first piece up against that, my first long plank, I realized I was gonna have to do some trimming and trying to create a slight curve to the product I found to be very difficult because it is so rigid. Now maybe there's a tool that you could use to do that that I'm not aware of, I don't know, but I had a lot of trouble kind of curving it out a little bit and then laying it against my tub. Now what I realized after the fact, maybe I just should have went this direction instead of this direction. I don't know, this was my first attempt. I, I went lengthwise here. Um, but so that, that making cuts like that, getting around my tile, getting under my door jam where you have to kind of trim some angles, I found that to be pretty difficult. Now when you get to the end of your row and you, you want to trim a little bit, you can score it with a utility knife and then snap. So that's pretty easy. And so this product um, then snaps together. You put your two pieces, align them like that, and then that will snap down. And one of the things you'll notice is that these seams are very tight. I cannot imagine any water could get into any of these seams. So it looks good. It almost looks like it's one piece when you finally have it together. So that's pretty impressive of a product. One thing you gotta do because this is limestone, it's very heavy. And so a box contains 10 pieces. A, a box of 10 pieces is very heavy. In fact, the guy at Lowe's, when he when it came in, he went and got the dolly to move it to my car. It's a pretty heavy product. Because of that, you gotta be careful about your edges. If you take a full plank of this and lay it on the edge, you will damage that corner. And then when you install it, you're gonna notice it. So I actually had an entire box of this delivered to me that the shipping company laid it on an edge and it, it um, basically damaged every single edge on that corner in that box, making the entire box pretty well useless. Now, if you had a, if you had one damaged edge, obviously you could use it at the end of your row and just kind of trim that off, um, assuming that was the correct orientation. But um, so be careful about the edges. Another uh, issue that I had, maybe you can see it here in my install. I made a mistake. I put the same piece really close to each other, and this is a small bathroom, and I didn't realize that till I was all done. This piece and this piece is actually the same. 
I really should have put this somewhere else and then you wouldn't see that the floor is not as varied. That's the only two identical pieces that I spotted and I stuck them kind of close together. So that was an oops on my fault. The final look and feel now that we're done, it looks awesome. It feels awesome. Um, it doesn't, it's not as hard as tile. It, because of that underlay, it has a softer feel, but it's still very firm. You cannot tell that it's floating at all. And then the overall cost, you can get a box of this for about 70 bucks, or, may, or maybe you can find a deal, use a coupon or something. Uh, I had to buy two boxes, even though one box contains 23 square feet. This is a 22 square foot bathroom. Just didn't give me enough margin with the leftover pieces that you end up with, because every time you trim one, you probably can't use that piece somewhere else. And so I ended up having to buy two boxes, 140 bucks. The underlay comes with 100 square feet. That was about 60 bucks. So somewhere around $200 and I have a lot of product left over. I've got eight out of 10 um, of the aged hickories left in one box. And then I have about 75 square feet of the Cali Complete underlay. So that was kind of the unfortunate part about doing a small bathroom, but um, overall it looks great. Now, am I gonna use this in the rest of my house? I've got uh, 1100 square feet or so that we're trying to do. And the answer to that question is probably not. Because if you look at Cali Bamboo's website, check out the Cali Vinyl Pro, a lot of their designs I found to be kind of modern. We're looking for something a little bit more traditional. I actually emailed them some suggestions of what we're looking for. If they come out with some new designs that are a little bit more traditional, then we're absolutely gonna use this product. Uh, do I wanna install 1200 square feet by myself? I'm probably gonna to have to hire somebody. I think that would take me about a week or something because um, it took me quite a while to do this small bathroom. But overall, I highly recommend this product. If you like a design that they have, it's awesome, it looks great. A little bit difficult on the install, but if you know what you're doing, you can make it happen. Thanks so much, I hope this helps you in your flooring decision and shout out to Cali Bamboo and Cali Vinyl Pro, really cool product. All right, have a great day, thank you.